Hey guys, so today I'm gonna kind of go over uh, smallmouth. You know, we're up north fishing tournaments and uh, you know, we go to lakes where before you get there, before I get there, I know smallmouth are gonna play. And one thing I take for granted is just that a lot of people have fished for smallmouth. And what I wanna do is go over six baits. I tried to pick three and then it got to four. But if you're gonna go smallmouth fishing, if I'm gonna go smallmouth fishing, I can go anywhere, anywhere in the country smallmouth fishing with these six baits. You know, one thing that's kind of uh, the same, common denominator in most smallmouth fisheries is the water is clear. Uh, you know, so if you go somewhere where it's dirty, or there's a lot of, you know, like, it's not as clear, like, for instance, lacrosse, they have a lot of smallmouth, but the water's not clear, so that's going to be a crankbaits and, and things like that, but I'm talking about St. Clair, St. Lawrence, you know, the Great Lakes, Oahe, uh, Mille Lacs, those kind of lakes. Number one, this bait's been around forever, just a tube. You know, I wanted a, a uh, bass open on this tube, I think in 13, then I was using a three-quarter ounce head. Uh, this is actually a half. The weight, you know, of the head that you're going to use, that's just going to depend on how deep you're fishing, how fast you want to move the bait, how fast you want to drift or whatever. But, you know, a tube does a few things. You can throw it out there. You can fish it on the bottom. Uh, also, you know, you can cover a lot of water with it just by being able to cast it. And I'll tell you, it catches big ones. So these are not in any particular order, but that is a really, really good bait. You know, one that's kind of came around lately, and I've kind of gotten aware. I have, I did not throw a Ned rig until just uh, actually this year, I think, at, at St. Lawrence River a lot. You know, this is, this is a bait that if you put it in front of one, he's going to bite it. You know, these two kind of go hand in hand. If I'm, if I'm fishing the tube and I get around a lot of fish and I want to show them something different, definitely this bait right here. Uh, works um this is actually just a yum dinger um cut off you know i like it about that length what is that about two and a half three inches long but it just catches and there's something about the profile and the way it falls it kind of falls like a tube i think like the old flipping tube where it just kind of darts down but that's a great one um another bottom bait drop shot everybody knows that i mean like i say the weight this is a half ounce weight i even go all the way up to a three quarter um you know, that's a bait that you're structure fishing, you're dropping over rocks, um, you know, you're casting in sand spots. A drop shot is just a bait that, you know, you're gonna fish it on bottom. The length of the leader is something that I'd like to talk about. You know, the clearer the water is, the longer I wanna make my leader. That way, you know, if, if that small mouse sees that bait out there 20 feet, you know, if it's up off the bottom, he's gonna have a lot better chance seeing it than down there, you know, if your leader was six inches. So I want to keep that bait up where they can see it. Rule is if you get around a smallmouth, he's probably going to bite if you can just get it, get his attention. That's the whole thing is getting their attention. Um, so that pretty much covers the bottom baits. You know, this bait's brand new and uh, I've caught a lot of them on it. This is one that I use a lot whenever uh, on live scope. You know, you see those fish out there they're suspended, they're, you know, they're anywhere in the water column. They're 10 feet, they're 100 feet from your boat. This is a bait that I can throw in front of them, watch it go down and work it over the top of their head. Um, you know, this is something that I've won a lot of tournaments on around the house in the winter time. Uh, did good in the classic, of course it was spotted bass, but it's the same principle. It's those smallmouth that get out there and kind of roam under bait. Uh, that's a great bait. So that kind of covers you know, the mid-range. This one here, one of my favorites whenever I'm smallmouth fishing. Uh, just a three-quarter ounce War Eagle spinnerbait. You know, I got it on a really, really fast, loose hyper mag here. I want to throw that thing out there, and I want to reel it uh, as fast as I can. You know, pop the rod every now and then. But that's something I like to start with early in the morning. You know, it gets, it gets too windy where you can't really feel the bottom. Um, and you'll be surprised how deep a water smallmouth will come out of to get this bait. I had an instance once up north where I was catching four or five pounders in practice 
out of 25 foot of water and I thought they were up high and when I got to looking at them their air batter was in their throat they were coming off the bottom to get this bait so last bait ain't nothing more fun than catching them on a spook um, you know you get out there and it doesn't matter when you're smallmouth fishing if you're in three foot or if you're in 25 30 40 foot if that water gets calm this is the bait that I'm going to pick up because it they see it and they will come and get it and and it's funny the bites you get on that and and i really believe that if you get around you know a wolf pack of fish the biggest fish is going to come up and get this bait now getting them in might be a little bit different story uh but you know you'll get a lot of bites on that as long as the water's pretty calm and uh you're going to catch some big ones too but if you're going up north or you're smallmouth fishing you know as long as the water's clear if you're going fishing with me, those are the six baits I'm going to have laid on the front of my boat.